Hello everybody, my name is Pobzer and welcome back to more Assassin's Creed 2. In the last episode we were gonna go visit Christina. So it's Vieri. I better hide. And uh now I'm hiding from Vieri. He couldn't have gotten far. But we got our first viewpoint last episode, if you don't know what viewpoints are. They are used in many games, not just this game. They are the uh, synchronized points on the map that unlock the map. <laughs> I don't know if I made that clear enough. But now we're just going to go visit Christina. And finish off our night. Christina! Who's there? Me! Oh, it's you. I should have known. May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait, uh, that came out wrong. <laughs> very smooth, Ezio. Very, very smooth. All right, let's do this. Come here. Oh, oh Ezio. Prompts. This is like the only time in the game that they ever do quick time events. I mean, they're not even really that quick time events. They stay there for a while. Oh! Oh, I missed one. I was looking... Oh, my bad. I was looking uh, looking away. And I missed it. My bad. As I was talking about how they weren't as quick, turned out there was, and uh, I missed it. My bad. Christina. Christina. They're just not used, yeah. in, except for these little short cutscenes. Is it really so terrible that... What is this? Perdonate, messere. Mi chiedo venia. I'll kill you! No, no. That's not necessary. Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! Go, go! He's rather upset for uh, no reason. He's kind of overreacting a little bit, I think. Well, no, he has a right to be upset, but... Still. You have me kind of overreacting. Get up there. She needed some help with... Some things. <laughs> love, I love I'm his little commentary. Innocent. You did not throw a rock at me. Oh, I'm actually at home. How about that? You don't see a thing. Drop, Ezio. I got it. And how about that? I'm actually at my house. I didn't actually know I was here. I got here very quickly. That that helps save time. Hello, Papa. Speak. Speak. Good morning, Father. Come. Ah! To me. Is something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf? I think son? that's why it was glitching out there. I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzo. The guy was coming to push me. And then this little visit to Christina. Guy, you hear news your quickly. Your behavior is unacceptable. It. I just did that like five minutes ago. It. It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo di Medici to review. I need them delivered to Oh, him. yeah, I'm Aaron boy father. for a little bit. Return to me when it's done. God dang it. And now I gotta be the Aaron boy for a little bit. Before I can start getting into the story gotta run errands from Giovanni Auditore 1 al magnifico Lorenzo di Medici mio oh he reads it himself e amico I have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond the satisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule what a name it is my belief that other parties desirous of far greater gains manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime, to be sure. And they have met fitting ends for their betrayal. But several other noble families are implicated as well, our own Francesco di Pazzi among them. Their cause and motive is not yet clear to me, but initial findings indicate a plan, the scope of which is sure to disturb you. Best we continue this conversation in person, as I am hesitant to put my suspicion to paper. Reply with a place and time, and I will meet you there, 
I have also ordered Francesco be held by the Gonfalonieri until we can clear up this matter. Yours in confidence, Giovanni. All right, well, kind of some backstory there. I didn't want to talk over him talking. He actually read it. I didn't need to read it. But uh, kind of just some backstory there about what's going on. And I will probably let those be read. Probably will let those just continue to be read as the game goes so that you guys have a little backstory if you've never played this game before. Where is the tower? Oh, you, oh, there's a viewpoint. I'm going out of my way to get it. That's a flower bed. I did not want that. I wanted this. I wanted to run up this. Ezio has a tendency to do what he wants to do and go where he wants to go. Whoops. And run up things when I don't want him to. But, uh... Oh, really? I'll do my best to keep his urges in check. His urges to run around to be a free spirit. Let's sink. I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to get all the viewpoints during this playthrough, so I can see the map. The first time I played this, I got no viewpoints except the ones that are required. I only think there are three that are like required for you to get. And I, I think I only got. I think I only got those. And my whole map was just blurry the whole time. Nope, that's not where I need to go. This is where I need to go. My whole map was blurry the whole game, and I didn't know why. But uh, I figured it out the second time I played through. I was like, oh, I was supposed to be unlocking the map. Didn't hurt at all. Talk to him. Fine. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid. And not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. Sweet. Done. Done and done. I'm just gonna run away from these guys. I don't care if they see me. Bye. I don't care if they see me. I'm going. I can beat their... I can beat them up if I need to beat their ass. Plus, they're slow. They already lost me. No need to be afraid of them. You see nothing. Get up there, Ezio. Oh, really? There's, there's just certain things that are different between this and some of the newer games. Like, some the newer games in Assassin's Creed make it more convenient like nothing's unclimbable almost there's certain things in this game that are just unclimbable and it's annoying so gonna have to deal with that but I still love this game this game, this game is absolutely fantastic hopefully this does not kill me grab something oh, I'm alive hey beast get all that's you. you worry too much. Stop talking to your brother. Francesco Grab the goddamn the chest. Thank you. The threat is I don't have any medicine, so I can't heal. Let's go talk to my dad. Got done with the mission. Talk to my dad. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberto. Don't interrupt him. Well, he interrupted his dad. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Ah! This whole beginning of the game is an errand running simulator. Alright, what do I want to do? first. Um, I'll do Petruccio. Ezio. Yeah, talk to Petruccio. What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. It's a you secret. For you. Will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. Well, this is the game. This is the collectibles in the game these uh, feathers they are going to be strewn throughout the world throughout the game there are a hundred of them oh they're down there 
down and see down and uh, you're gonna be able to collect them throughout the world they're really really not that difficult to find but it's just tedious because there's a hundred of them and it gets annoying really quickly but you know um, I will not be getting all the feathers that is something I will not be doing I will not be grabbing all the feathers because there's just too many of them and not enough time well I have all the time but I just I don't feel like grabbing a hundred feathers again I already did it but I, I don't want to do it again it's just annoying so I will not be doing that I will sink this viewpoint though Got it. Done. Map updated. Boom. I actually, I want to see my map. Zoom out. Whoops. Not that far. Get in there. There you go. I only got four viewpoints left that are available to me. Is there one right in front of me? Is there? No, there's one behind me. I'll go do this real quick, and then I'll go back, because I'm already over here. No need to run back and then have to come all the way back to get the viewpoint. There are 73 viewpoints in this game. Yeah, I'm going to say I, that is correct. I'm 95% sure that's correct. I'm so used to having all the armor and, and everything equipped. I just jump off buildings without second thought. So, ah! <laughs> thought I died. So, uh, this Ezio right now has no armor and no health upgrades, so I might die if I keep jumping off things. But I'm used to having so much health and medicine that I can just jump off things. Oh well, I guess I'll, uh, I'll get back to getting all that stuff here in a minute. Hey, over there's the DLC. Excuse me. I'll probably cut that out. I coughed in the microphone again. Um, over there, on the other side of the bridge, is the DLC. I probably will be doing the DLC for this game. Probably will be playing that. The Bonfire of the Vanities. And the uh, War. I can't remember what it is. I can't remember what it's called. It's like Florin and Romagni War. Or something like that. I can't remember. That one is uh, less memorable than the other one. Alright, let's go back home and deliver these feathers to my brother am I really right here I am holy crap don't die okay good okay, got worried for a moment I guess I'm going into my dad's office to give Petruchio feathers here as promised feathers Grazie, brother. those things probably have disease on them want these. I will in time Gave him the feathers. Like a pro. Alright, let's talk to my sister. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Benny. You shouldn't keep things from me. He's got it's that Lucia. sixth sense. What are you? It's a... It's I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. <laughs> I'll go have a word with him. <laughs> She's so bipolar about it. She's like, I loved him. He was so good to me. And then she's like, I, he should die. You should kill him. Just, okay. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason you were, uh, he was unfaithful. Just say it. I mean, that's still terrible. Don't do that. But, uh. That girl was bipolar. Really, Ezio? You're not gonna fucking just get up there? I can't wait to get double climb. Double climb is gonna make everything better. Ooh, the tower's over here as well. Santa Maria. This tower right here. There's a viewpoint on top of it. I will be getting that, and... I will beat up Duccio. Wow, they look, they can see me. I will beat up Duccio. I'm sure nobody ever made that joke before next time because i'm all out of time so thank you all so much for watching i hope you're enjoying this and uh 
I hope you continue to follow along for the series until The Evil Within comes out, because I'm really excited for that. So, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.